My, my, hey, hey, rock and roll is here to stay. We have an example of a gold wire with a diameter of 0.8 millimeters and a length of 1.3 meters, and it's at 20 degrees Celsius. We want to know what its resistance is. So this is uh, one example where we're going to use this new resistance formula based on the characteristics of a wire, and it is rho times L over A. Uh, so what I'm actually going to do with this problem, I gave you guys, starting right off, a slightly tougher one so that we can see every possible uh, permutation, if that's the right word. Uh, so I'm going to uck this thing, because uh, uck charts are awesome. And I'm going to uck it in green because I can. What do they tell me? They tell me that the wire has a diameter, D of 0 0.80 millimeters. They tell me it has a length, big fat L of 1.3 meters, and they tell me it's made of gold, and I look up on my reference table, on the table of resistivities, and I find that gold at 20 degrees Celsius, old looky, it's at 20 degrees Celsius, gold has a resistivity of, 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 of 2.44 times 10 to the minus 8 ohm meters. Okie doke. That's a minus 8, minus 8, minus 8. Okay. Uh, so the formula says, please give me rho. And there's rho uh, in my list. It says, please give me, wait, I've got a new thing I can do here. Uh, please give me L. <laughs> That's fun. And I've got L. How do I make it stop? I don't know. How do I make it stop? Uh-oh, this is trouble. <laughs> How do I make it go away? In the corner, on the H, in the link, in the link. That? No, there's an H. No, look at the, your sentence. There's, an H, there's link, the word link, and then in the H, 0.8 millimeters and a length of 13. No, I'm trying to make this huge expanded L go away. Let me pause this. <laughs> There it's fixed. Uh, and so anyway, I've got the L. And But, 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 I'm crazy enough, I'm going to do this again. Uh, look at this A down here. Look at that A. It's, it, the, the formula wants to know the cross-sectional area of the wire. And yet, when I look at my up chart, I don't have A. A is a question mark. Oh my goodness, I think I'm going to cry and go home. No, what I'm going to do is calculate the area because this wire is round in cross section. So here's a zoomed in view of the end of the wire, and the wire goes curling off. It's made of gold. They gave me the diameter, D, and I want to know the cross sectional area, which I'm going to color in here. Okay, I want to know that cross sectional area. So how are these things related to each other? That's an excellent question. They're related because A of a circle is pi r squared. Now, if you don't remember that, that's okay because you can look it up on your table de friggin' reference where they have a section on mathy geometry types, geometry and trigonometry, and they give you circle formulas. Uh, the one circle formula they don't give you those bastards is that the radius is half the diameter. You're supposed to remember that a radius, which is what this formula wants, it's half the diameter. So let's get to work here. We need A. They gave me D. And they not only gave me D, they gave me D in millimeters, which makes me sneeze. So the first thing I have to do is change my, by the way, don't cry now because this is the hardest problem you're going to have to do, so you're welcome that we're doing a tough one. I've got 0 0.80 millimeters. I've got to change it to meters. I think I'll do a factor label. So I put millimeters on the bottom. I put meters on the top. There's uh, one uh, millimeter is 10 to the minus 3 meters. I know that because I looked at it from my reference table. And so I get D equals 8.0 times 10 to the minus 4 meters. That's D. D. Now I go to R. And R has to be done in red because it's R after all. R is half of D, 8.0 times 10 to the minus 4 meters divided by 2 and I get 4.0 times 10 to the minus 4 meters. That's the radius. Now I can find the area in green, and I get the cross-sectional area is 3 plus 1, 4 times 4.0 times 10 to the minus 4 meters squared. And I dig up my calculator, so I'm going to do that for a second. 
Okay, so I calculated that and I got 5.024, so I'm just going to leave it at 5.0, times 10 to the minus 7 square meters. That is A. So now that I have the cross-sectional area of the wire, and by the way, we're going to be dealing with wires which are tiny. Your cross-sectional areas are going to be tiny numbers like 10 to the minus 7. Okay, now I can finally calculate the resistance. I will do that in blue, which is a happy color. Rho L over A. I go back up to my alk and I look up rho. 2.44 times 10 to the minus 8. 2.44 times 10 to the minus 8 ohm meters. Parenthecate that bad boy. Length of the wire. Something tells me it's 1.3 meters. It is 1.3 meters. 1.3 meters. Divided by cross-sectional area 5.0 times 10 to the minus 7 square meters. I punch buttons. I'm not going to pause this time, which will give you time to play along at home. I punch buttons and I do 2.44 times 10 to the minus 8 times 1.3 all divided by 5.0 times 10 to the minus 7 and I get 0.063. Rate resistance is 0 0.063 ohms. I am happy. Thank you very much.